good day. I want to provide you a guide on how to answer your computer based test with the acronym CBT or total mark assignments with the acronym TMA on the learning management system. First and foremost, you must have an active account on the learning management system. If you need an assistance on this, you may have to contact the eight tutors in charge of, in charge of the department for an assistance. That's number one. Number two, you must have an internet device, either phone or a computer, or you seek assistance of, of someone that has. That's number two. Number three, you must be really ready for the answer before you log into the learning management system in the case of computer based test which is to be marked by the computer while you are answering it or immediately you because immediately you finished the because immediately you finished you will have the feedback that is the grid displayed so the three things you will need. Number one, you will need the three things you will need. Number one, an account on the learning management system. To get this, you might seek an assistance of the tutor in charge of your department. Number two, an internet enabled device, either phone or computer. If you do not have any, you may have to seek assistance of someone that has. That's number two. Number three, you must be ready, especially in the case of the computer based test, which is timed. Once you start, you won't be able to stop. If it is 10 minutes, if it is 15 minutes, the countdown starts immediately. You click on it. So, let's start first with tutor mark assignment that is the one that will require you to upload XYZ to the learning management system. As answers one log into your learning management system with your metric number and your password as I said before you might need to seek assistance of someone as I said before you might need to seek assistance of the tutor in charge of your department if you don't have an account or you have forgotten your details number two you come to the learning management system, then you log in using your metric number and as the username, then the password. I strongly want to believe that you know how to go about logging into the learning management system. If you do not know how to go about that, simply visit module.uniabuja.edu.ng as you can see on the screen. M O O D L E dot uniabuja dot edu dot ng mudu dot uniabuja dot edu dot ng that takes you to the page to a page where you enter your metric number and the password after entering the username and the password it gets you into the it gets you into the learning management system so you select the course that has the cbt or that has the tma but we kind of made it easier by copying the link of each assignment and posting it to the Telegram. So you may as well want to do yourself a favor by visiting the learning management system through the Telegram. Now, I want to give an answer on this question. So 20 sociology of mass communication. The lecturer has given us an assignment and it says, how can you define communication as an act? giving appropriate illustration to support your answer and the instruction there states that type your answers and upload the answer as a microsoft word document what this implies is that if you don't have a computer you must have you must have answered the question perhaps on the sheet of paper and seek assistance of someone that will help you to type it that's number one number two if you have a computer and you have done that successfully let's assume that i have a computer and this is a document 
where I have my answers. Oh, just come and save save the documents as save the documents with your matric number and possibly your name so that when the lecturer pulls it down you'll be able to distinguish between your own answer and any other person's own my own is my own matric number is one nine slash two zero four essays slash four 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 then you save it in a particular location on your device. But in the case you are giving the assist, you are giving this responsibility to someone else. All you need to do to request from the person is that after you or she has saved it, you just copy it for you. Copy the answers for you. Maybe on your phone or on your your iPad or your computer. So I'm gonna save my phone on the desktop, which is my I stored I saved the document with my matriculation number. Now I have it saved. Okay, the the file name is not valid. Okay, instead of slash, instead of slash, let me use minus. Instead of slash, let me use minus. Nineteen minus two zero four ss minus four four four. At least the lecturer would be able to know who whose answer this is. Now I have saved the documents. You can see it. I come back to the learning management system here. To answer the question okay you simply come come here and click on hard submission that is after you have answered the question and you have it typed and saved on Microsoft Word you come to hard sub submission and click on hard submission that opens a page like this for you you see where you can simply select that is you can upload the assignments you intend to submit so to have it submitted click on this very column you click on it click on upload the file then click on browse this comes to your device where you will be able to down i mean where you'll be able to upload the document so I click on the document right here. After clicking on the document, uh, all you need to do is come to this place, click on this button, click on upload the file, click, click on browse, then select the document. Look at the document right here, the one I intended to submit. Then you click on open. So it comes up here, it pops up here, with your name appearing here. The name name is Mohammed Aliyu Mohammed let's see my name is Abbas Mohammed A. so the author you put your name there then you upload the file that makes the document to appear this way then you click save changes that's all so under submission section you will see submitted for grading so that's all you need to do at this point you have submitted your tfa so the lecturer can pull it down from his own hand and grade you accordingly you will see your grade there now in the very case of computer based test which is precisely multiple choice question that is to be marked automatically that's number one that is to be timed timed in the sense that once you start you will not be able to stop so i'm going to use this course as an example so 202 once you come to the question here i don't want to bother myself about how you log into the lms and all that because I, I want to believe you are all familiar with it now so you come to this place where the assignment is click on the assignment up here after clicking, you will see attempt quiz now. You will see every necessary information there. Attempt allowed. You can try it twice. This quiz opened at Wednesday, 9th of March 2022. And the it's going to close by Wednesday next. On by, by next, I mean, it's going to close by Wednesday on 16th of March. The time that I have 
to answer the question. You know, you see that they did not tell me the number of questions I'm going to answer. They just only give me the number of time I'm going to answer. So that's the reason I said that you really must be ready before you attend to this. So now the grading method is average grade. Since it's going to be more than twice. I mean, it's going to be twice. So it means that if I have privileges of attempting the answers two times, the system will have the, my first mark, which if it is 2 over 10, it will mark the 2. Then if at the second attempt, I now got 10, 10. The first attempt, I got 2 over 10. The second attempt, I got 10, 10. It will have the first 2 plus the second 2, which will give me 12 and divide it by 2. That means at the end, on the average, I got 6 over 10. You could see how dicey it is. So you really have to be very ready. So it's not something that you just get yourself into and you move out thinking that oh, you actually have the privileges of coming back to the answer it. Now, if you are very ready, you click on. And the essence of this is, in the case that you, you started, your internet went off. You can come back and improve on what you have done. And the way the questions are is this, your answer definitely is not my answer. If we are starting the same, okay, now the next thing you need to do is click on attempt quiz now. Once you click that, you will see this flash on your face. This quiz has a time limit of 10 minutes. This will cut down from the moment you start your attempt. Now you must submit before it expires. Otherwise, it will submit for you. Are you sure that you wish to start now? Then I click on start attempt. Then the question starts flagging my face one at a time. A concept that can take one month or whatever, I simply click what, what I think the answer is. In a situation where you mistakenly click this, you can clear what your answer is and select another one. Select another one, move to the next page. So you really must be time conscious when you're answering computer based tests. Because if you fail to, the system times you out automatically. And at any point you stop, the system marks. And any question you fail to have provided answers for, the system marks you wrong there. So it's a matter of you getting set and smart with time management. Now, let's assume that I've answered all the questions. Let me just click options that, that comes my way. Then I'm on the sevens. I'm going to 15 um, in the situation where your internet fluctuated, you may still have the privileges of coming back to the attempted. That's number one. And number two, if your first attempt gave you the best of answer, I would advise you don't attempt it this for the second time. So you don't have to, it's not a must that you must do it twice as the provision is there. The provision has it that you can make two attempts. But if during the first attempt you're able to get like 14 or 15, what is the essence of you retrying it again? So it's simply because you do not know what may happen during the second attempt. If you got 15 the first time and you're like, okay, I mean 14 the first time and you're like, okay, let me make attempt again and retry the second time and when you started the internet fluctuated you only you've answered only two and your internet went off so the second one which got you two marks if you got the answers right the system will just add up that two mark with the 14 that you've gotten before making 16 and divided by two at the end of the day you will now have 14 plus 2, this is 16 divided by 2, 8, that's 8 over 15, when in the, the during the first attempt you've gotten yourself 14. Now let's assume that I've, I'm done with the entire question, I come to finish attempt, you click on finish attempt, it will show you this preview, re-attempt, return to attempt, that is if by, it was by error, you click on that, and if you are really done, you see, submit all and finish. Immediately you click that. You see, once you submit, you will no longer be able to change your answers for this attempt. I click here, yeah, because I'm done. So immediately you do that, you'll be able to see your score right in here. You can see, finished, submitted, Saturday, and you see my grade, 4 out of 15.
you could see the option here reattempt quiz because the first attempt i got 4 over 15. the second attempt i may want to try because this 4 is very poor actually i may want to try if during the second attempt i got 15. the system will add up this 4 plus the 15 and divide it by 2 and give me my score okay thank you very much and please like follow and comment on the video thank you